There's so many buildings to check out in this game. Like, you don't know where you're- Oh, fuck! What is that? Hey everyone, my name is Mike and welcome back to The Evil Within. In the last part, we finally found a friendly face, and that being the doctor who was in the ambulance with us and in the hospital from the very start. And to get to the next section in the last part, we had to find a chainsaw to break down a gate, and we just got the chainsaw from a chainsaw-wielding maniac who took about four explosives to the face, a load of shotgun shells and pistols, and he finally went down, and we took his chainsaw from him. And I've just seen this right here. There's um, some parts to pick up. So the doctor lured all the um, the undead to the, another house, another building, and we went out and done the business with the ex all the weapons and all that shit. So there's not a whole lot of zombies left, I don't think, to have to fight against. So um, now that we've got the chainsaw, we should be able to take, take this gate down. There's a fence, a gate here, and we need to use a chainsaw on this to break it, apparently. So hopefully there's no more zombies coming up behind us. Sweet. Actually, guys, before we do open the gate, the chainsaw guy was behind here, and there's a chest here. The, the, he broke out chains that were tied up there on the wall, see? That's where we, fit, we fought him. So, open this slowly in case there's a trap inside. No, there isn't. So we open it all the way. Get some weapons. Oh, nice. There's shotgun shells, revolver rounds. Plenty of nice ammo. Okay, guys, so with the whole area being completely checked... That was an axe there. With the whole area being completely checked out and... No enemies left or anything like that, or and all the things picked up. We can move on. Hopefully, the doctor's going to be here. Wait, so oh, nice. Over here. I was looking for you. Wait, uh, officer, uh, you must take me with you. Detective Castellanos. Leslie should be just ahead. It is imperative that we find him. Oh god, it's the patient we are still looking for. Chapter three clear. Right. No going back there. Oh, the hospice. Yes. Leslie was being treated here years ago. He'd come here thinking it was familiar and safe. You know where we are? Just ahead is the hospice my brother runs. He'll take us in. That didn't answer my question. I honestly don't know. For all I know, I'm losing my mind and you're just a delusion. But I'd like to think I still have a shred of dignity and an obligation to protect my patient. As an officer of the law, you should too. I hope his brother's not a jerk too. What am I looking at there? The door? This game is weird. Like, the, the characters are not believable. There's no emotion in them. They don't. Like, no one's panicking. Everyone's just very calm. Oh, this looks like a familiar place. My brother works here. It's not even like. <laughs> there's zombies everywhere. Come on. Lose your shit a little bit, will you? What's this on the door? A police badge. It's a journal of Sebastian Castellanos. My brother was almost killed this afternoon. Shot by a suspect we were pursuing. Thank God I was there. She's going to be okay. But seeing her bleeding like that, thinking I was going to lose her without telling her how I really feel was unbearable. Is is is, is um who's who's the name? Is Maya the girl who was on the ambulance with us? Okay, it's against the code of conduct, but I have to let her know how I feel about it. All right, so he's got um, a crush on this girl. I think normally with these sheds, they have broken mirrors inside. And that way you can go back to the other world and upgrade your shit. Yeah, there's a mirror there, so I think we should be able to upgrade our shit right there. So, uh, yeah. So we looked inside the mirror. Yeah, every time we look inside the mirror, you go back to... Yeah. You go back to the central hub, where this is like where you can save your game. And also... Where you can upgrade yourself, your your skills, your weapons, all that shit. So here's the nurse lady. You should find this useful. What? Okay, she's actually Wait, she's actually taking us somewhere this time. So is there something else we can do here. What are you showing me? Detective Castellanos. Yes. Do you have a key like this? I do. What the fuck? The camera that just zoomed if it was will back. Allow you to open this door. That key will allow you to open this door. Which one? Any? Let's do a random one then. So 
What do we get inside? We got some bullets. Yeah, oh, 15. Contents are yours. Please come back whenever you need to. Holy shit, you can only carry so many bullets. 16 bullets under 60. Oh shit. Alright guys, we're done in here now. Done all upgrades, got the extra ammo and stuff like that. So let's go back with the um Okay, just look at this guy as well. This guy's not even questioning what the hell just happened there. So apparently this guy's brother is a owner to the hospice. So we're gonna go inside. Now, do we have any zombies in here? We've got some green goo, I'm taking that. No idea, mate. You seem to know a lot more about this than I do, so. But I'm hearing zombies. Okay. That's the sound. Maybe that's his brother. Brother Valerio, Leslie's original doctor. Peel away. Yes, expose everything. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> oh shit, run away. Get some distance, I'm gonna shoot him in the face a few times. Oh, he's down. Let's bit him, bit him. Fat man fell down straight away. So because we killed him, does his tospus fall apart now? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> this is just ridiculous. It cheats. <laughs> uh, I don't think, even if you get told exactly what's going on in this game, I don't think you're going to make any sense of it. Don't matter, Valerio. Are we going to inspect this guy at all? Who's Ruvik again? He's mentioned Ruvik. Oh, is Ruvik the guy that's like teleports? Because he mentioned Ruvik in the um, in the hospital when we first found this doctor. He said like it can't be Ruvik or something like that. Like similar to what he's just said. Matches nice. We can carry seven matches now, I think, as well. We upgraded it a bit. I don't think there's any zombies other than the guy we just killed. Get this goo. What have we got on the floor? Let's pick a bottle, why not? Oh shit, it's him. Um, Leslie? Yeah. That came from outside. Yeah. Yes. Leslie's outside, but before we do go outside, let's check upstairs. And let's draw as well. Okay, we got a zombie over here. Let's try and stealth kill this guy. We're still upstairs in the hospice. Doing a bit of exploring here before we go outside to Leslie. Let's burn this guy's corpse. You know, because we've got plenty of matches. Some shotgun ammo, we're full on that now. Let's pick up the axe and the goo. Okay guys, so we're all done in the hospice now. We checked out all the rooms, got all the loot we can find, killed the zombies. So let's go have our Leslie. He's screaming outside. Hopefully he's not in too much danger. <laughs> I think Leslie is really important to like knowing what the hell's going on. Oh, God. You really don't know where you're meant to be going in this game, do you? Because it's all just. Oh shit. That's not Leslie, is it? Are we killing this I'm sorry, I could have helped you there, I guess, but I, I decided not to. For some strange reason. Okay, that guy, is he. There's a pig over there as well. We can see this guy with the axe, easy. 
Should we do that? I think we're going to ignore that guy. Alright, so at the moment we have no idea where Leslie is outside. You just know he's outside, not... There's so many buildings to check out in this game, like... You don't know where you're... Oh, fuck! What is that? That's a ghost. That's a ghost. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's nice. Let's smash these boxes up. Let's check out what's in this room. Something tormented, at least. I know that much. Alright, it's pretty empty in here. Maybe we can sneak down this- Leslie. Somehow he's- He's what? Finish his sentence? Go on, finish his sentence. No? Okay, we'll just ignore that then. So we can sneak behind this, um... This bookcase. Let's turn the lantern on. Check out the drawers. There's a lot of um, having to scavenge in this. There's like more scavenging in this than there is in like, The Last of Us, when that's what the game's based around. <laughs> But just note, they got Norman, his cries for help just cut off. I can hear screaming every night. If I don't stay hidden, I know I'll be next. So I don't really get those notes. I like dare him case files right there. Is that just... It's not really meant to be there in real reality, is it? It's just game updates, like... Yeah, you know. Okay, we're actually maxed out on matches right now, so... Killing stuff is not a problem. Still looking for Leslie, of course. Okay, I think one of the only places we haven't checked. Help! Help! What's wrong with this kid? There he is. He's right in front of us. Oh, uh, where's he going? Okay, so he's right in here. I wonder if the zombies attack him as well, because he seems to be getting around very easily. Not having to uh, fight off things. Okay. We've got a cabinet here, let's check this out. Okay. We've got plenty of bullets. We've got too many bullets, actually. Alright, so Leslie must have went this way and went downstairs. He's gone down there. What are you doing, Leslie? Stop being a crazy bitch, bastard. Whatever you are. He's a man, right? Yeah, he's a man. Alright, it's kind of getting dark down here. He seems to be knowing where he's going in a way. He's going a specific path. Find my patient, Leslie. Can we look in there? What the hell's in there? This is twisted. Uh, okay, this looks like a torture chamber to some degree. Oh yeah, definitely a torture room right here. Alright, so what have we got here? We've got some bullets there we can't pick up. A lot of shit we can't pick up because we're stocked. So... Upgrade. Oh, Leslie. Oh, thank heavens. Dr. Hermenis is here. Settle oh. down. Wait, Doc. I think something's coming. Oh, it's not a chainsaw guy, is it? Is it a chainsaw guy? Right, I've got an axe if it's not a chainsaw guy. Settle down. Fuck. What the fuck? He just came out of nowhere. What the fuck? What, what the fuck? They're invisible? Is that a glitch or are they meant to be invisible? What? Is it over? Are you still out there? The way he went invisible wasn't like he faded away like a ghost. He just blinked away, like whoop, disappeared, gone. So what the fuck was that all about? This place is a whoop, death trap. Disappeared, gone. Is there anywhere safe? So what at the all? fuck was that all about? I think that's unlikely. Hmm. Can't get out. Can't get out. We must be going this way. Can't get away. Can't get away. Okay, so we've used the axe. We've just got the pistol now. And the shotgun. And the crossbolt. Here we go. Are we making an escape here? The stairs are gone. Oh, fuck. We must be collectively losing our minds. Losing our minds. Losing our minds. Losing our minds! Losing our minds! Losing our minds! Here he is. Oh God. No. Is this Ruvik or something? What his name is? The doctor keeps calling Ruvik, doesn't he? Ruvik? Yeah. Keeps it calling Ruvik, you. doesn't he? Ah! Yeah. Who the hell are you? No! Don't follow! Don't follow. Yeah, I think I've got no option to. What the? Oh shit. 
Oh shit. We've entered another Doctor? universe. Leslie. Ah, great. Fuck. Fuck indeed. So we are heavily hallucinating. Uh, okay, we got this little trick here. All the trick in the book right here. Let's try and go back then. I don't even think that. Yeah, okay. Shit keeps um, resetting. There's a. Okay, hello. Um, run away, run away. Are we dead? No. Um. What is going on here? <laughs> what is going on here? That's so casual. So, um, yeah, we're gonna end it here, guys. Try and find out where the hell Rubik's gone, if he's gone anywhere, and where we've actually gone to, because this is not where we just were standing. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time. Bye. Not where we just were standing. So, um, thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time. Bye.